Um, but, you know, as Andrew mentioned, it's good for the soul to be here in Miami, and I would also add that it's good for the soul to be together. Um, this is a, a group that works very closely together. We uh, consult with each other. We collaborate uh, every, each and every day. And, uh, and for me, it's good for my soul uh, to be with all of you this morning. I also think it's important at the very beginning uh, to lend our support to Atlas Airlines and the entire Atlas family and the family of the crews that unfortunately were lost when Atlas 3591 crashed this past Saturday. Um, an incident like that affects all of us in the aviation family and, uh, and our thoughts are with Atlas Airlines, uh, certainly today uh, and into the future. I last spoke to AFSEC World in 2017. I had just recently arrived into this position. I think I was in the job for almost 90 days uh, when, I, when I spoke in Abu Dhabi. And uh, I'm really uh, thankful to be here with you today to kind of give you an update as to what we've been up to and where we see the future in aviation science being the host airline and their partnership uh, with all of you and certainly with us uh, in, in putting on this conference. Uh, Alliance being the host airline and their partnership uh, with all of you and certainly with us uh, in, in putting on this conference um, agency. So I expect that we're going to be able to move our innovation process forward ever more, more, more deliberately uh, with Alexis leadership uh, over the next several years, I hope. At least one, uh, maybe, maybe two. Um, also here today is Serge Padovov, who is one of our federal air marshals. And as you all know, the federal air marshal service is a part of TSA that is not especially visible um, to the public, but it's very visible to all of you, particularly beneficial and insightful um, for all of you. Uh, Nick Bianchini is here. Uh, Nick is part of our Requirements and Capabilities Analysis Organization, which we have, we have bolstered up over the past 16 months. Uh, Nick has done some great work. Um, uh, when Jim talked about the computed tomography um, process, I mean, Nick is key and critical um, to that effort. And, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. And then uh, with you uh, over the next couple of days are our international industry representatives. These are information and communications amongst us, and I'm very glad that they uh, were able to be here today uh, and over the next couple of days. Um, and, and also, I, I think it's important at the beginning of my remarks that I recognize um, all of had um, probably between eight and 10,000 of our employees who were not accepted employees, which means that they work um, during a shutdown, uh, had to stay home. Uh, I can tell you, and, and, and we had a, a great celebration when we opened the doors again back when the shutdown was over, to recognize that uh, that's a whole cadre of, of employees, not just in the Transportation Security Administration, but also in CBP and the Federal Aviation Administration, that we're very glad to get um, the Federal Aviation Administration and the team, and I'm really happy uh, with that partnership. Um, I'd also like to, to mention, in terms of things that have happened uh, over the past 16 months, um, that are available for all of you to take a look at uh, are a number of very, very important documents. And you know, we talk about where is the future going. Um, we are endeavoring to be as transparent as we, we all agreed to. Um, and that administrator's intent and many, many, many of the items in that intent uh, were a direct result of the contributions of people in this room. So I appreciate that. And you should know that um, I hold my senior executives financially accountable uh, for completion of those administrators' intent items. I came from the business world, and, and I believe in, in incentivizing senior leadership to accomplish the objectives that we all agree to accomplish. Of our near-term direction and with respect to the strategy, the sense of where we see things going. But to lead off our discussion this morning, I thought I'd talk about um, perhaps one of the more visible things that, that all of you have participated in uh, and that all of you will see in our security checkpoints uh, in the not-too-distant future. Um, the first uh, was, was already mentioned is the computed to model. There's no mistakes in, re in, in reading the data. And then while a passenger is standing in front of our officer, uh, it will query our secure flight database, which is our database that, that um, provides us risk assessments for passengers. Um, so that's real time risk information at the security checkpoint uh, and should be actually a speedier process in other nations. Uh, our goal is to raise the baseline of global aviation security. It's been our goal. Uh, continue to push forward uh, a process where uh, we look at threats, not just from a, it's, it's actually quite a simple process to look at a system and say, how did I design my system? Let my system, I mean, let me test my system to see if it's performing as designed. That's a good thing to do, we do that. 
but I think it's also a good thing to do to take a look at, at the threats and then test your system with those threats in mind and see how your system performs. Um, because that will ensure that we keep our systems current. Uh, and that will also, by the way, um, very consistent with the theme of this conference, ensure that no vulnerability is left behind. Um, and, and I'm all about, I want to know where the vulnerabilities are. I want to have a plan, an aggressive plan, to be able to address those vulnerabilities. So in conclusion, thank you for your work in raising the global baseline of aviation security. The security directives and emergency amendments I've issued have accomplished this for the last points of departure airports to the United States, but we need to safeguard the entire global aviation system. Unilateral action is not an ideal approach, and I want the U.S. to actively engage with all of you in our decision-making processes, as we have done, and we, can, we just need to continue to make that, that process even stronger and more inclusive. And I prioritize information sharing and increased cooperation since becoming an, the administrator. And so rest assured that we will um, be conversational with all of you, uh, be good partners, share as much as we can, and work closely with you in today's complex and dynamic threat environment. With our closest partners, we will pursue recognition of commensurate security outcomes. Cargo recognition is the latest, is the largest, I'm sorry, and most well-established program, and we will also have a canine program recognition program. We are looking to expand recognition and interoperability in other areas. You know, TSA's motto, uh, when I first came into this position, our motto was a very appropriate one given the 9-11 roots of this agency, and, and it was, uh, and, and it, it, in very simple words, not on my watch, um, because it was a credo for all of our employees, no matter what they did in the agency, to ensure that uh, a situation like 9-11 did not recur on their watch. We changed that slogan uh, as part of our strategy based on input from you and based on a perspective from us that it really is not on our watch um, because we all input into the security of the system uh, and it's critical that we perceive it that way. And, and, and the not on our watch also applies to all of the passengers uh, and all of the businesses that use our system to transport um, themselves or cargo um, through, uh, through a very robust global transportation system. And so, my friends, I, you know, when we say not on our watch, this is our watch. Um, and so let's collectively put every ounce of energy we have in securing aviation. We're all in this together, and I and we in TSA will do all we can to advance our shared interest in the safety and security of this tru truly global aviation system. Um, Final comment for me is, is a comment of gratitude. Um, I very much appreciate the, um, the, the outreach, the, the, uh, the help, uh, the advice, the uh, financial support in terms of gifting of equipment, um, the, the uh, willingness to prototype different things um, that, we, you know, that we're considering to advance aviation security. We would be nowhere near where we are today without all of your help. My team, would feel nowhere near as appreciated without all of your help in recognizing the work that they do. And so on behalf of them, I want to thank all of you for great partnership with us and pledge to you that we will be and continue to be great partners with all of you. Thank you.